Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Star in Sky Reddit Review. Let's see what kind of embarrassing memes did you look up from my past and posted it on this Reddit because that's that seems to be the most popular content lately, and I love it. This pack on the beginner account is just too broken. Where is the beginner struggle? You can instantly open 10 diamond packs. Wait, what? Oh, because it comes with 5,000 souls. Yeah, I saw this and I, I... I don't get it. I guess... My, my only explanation why, why does this pack exist is because they have statistics and statistics probably show that a lot of people start the game and they quit very quickly because you start with like a bunch of silver cards no no no, one silver card used to so when the game just started we used to start with i think it was three bronze cards and one silver card and it would take a while for you to grind enough souls to even get your first gold card then they switched it recently so that everybody, when, when they start, they get a free MK11 diamond character. Once again, probably because a lot of people were leaving just as, as soon as they start the game because there's just... They check it out and it's like, well, there's so many cool fighters in here and there's they seem so impossible to get. So they decided to start giving people a free diamond card. Now they took it a step further. They give people, apparently, as far as I know, there's a few, like, multiple different packs. Like, for example, here is this new Fighter Diamond Pack 4. And I feel like it's, like, one, four tiers. One, two, three, four. One is still just one Diamond card. Two is, I think, Diamond card plus a little bit of souls. And three, a little bit more souls. And four, I think, is, like, the most, uh, the most powerful free pack. That gives you 5,000 souls, 5,000 coins, and one diamond. What determines which pack you get when you start the game? No idea. Maybe there's some kind of an algorithm uh, to determine wh what is like the least stuff they can give you for you to stay playing the game. I don't know what the logic here is, but this is ridiculous. 5,000 souls. So they want you to start the game get a diamond card, open a bunch of packs, and then you're probably going to be less likely to stop playing because you feel like, okay, I have s I have some nice stuff here. I, I can work with this. Uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't really affect me, so I, I, I don't particularly mind. But uh, if, you, if you think about it, what is 5,000 souls in one diamond card? It's literally nothing. Honestly, it's like... It, it's a good psychological reward, but practically, you're probably gonna pull some garbage like uh, MK11 Raiden or MK11 Nightwolf that are not gonna be useful for beginners whatsoever. I think there is a chance to pull MK11 Scorpion, and honestly, if you're just starting, it's worth it to refresh this pack until you get MK11 Scorpion. That card is gonna be the most useful for you. But uh, it's not going to make or break the account. We earn this amount. We earn multiple diamonds per week on a, a little bit more mature account. We probably earn... Well, 5,000 souls is nice. But in the beginning, those 5,000 souls are just going to get dropped on the packs. You will potentially get maybe one extra diamond from this. And a uh, couple golds. It's, it's like a nice little booster. But for people who've been playing for over... A month, I would say. This would not... Uh, like, they, they would get more stuff than this is able to provide. So I think it's nice. I think if it keeps people playing, they, they gotta do what they gotta do. Anyway, wow, I've been talking about this for four minutes. Alright, let's move on. Let's see. Oh, actually, I'm curious what people have to say. I remember when my strongest card was Sun God Kotal. That is sad. Guys, please upvote... So, you, I also won't start to talk about this. That's why we're getting this uh, error every next second, and it's gonna harm our account progress anyhow. And why so many players are claiming that they're getting banned for no reason. Not everyone is lying. Okay, that's good. That's good uh, thing to talk about. I have seen this error on my own accounts all the time. All the time. Like, there's not a day goes by 
when this error happens on both Android and iOS. And it's annoying. It usually gets fixed by restarting the game. So if you keep getting this error every couple of seconds, just restart the game. It should go away for a while. Uh, that's, that's about this issue. I don't know what causes it. I hope they fix it because it's very annoying, especially when it happens in the middle of the battle. Uh, then uh, about the banning, well, we've had this issue pretty much since day one in MK Mobile. They were banning people for no reason. They have certain algorithms that are designed to try and catch people who use some, some kind of hacks in the game. And those algorithms are not perfect. They do misfire sometimes and flag people as cheaters who are not actually cheaters. We don't know how they work, what they look at, what are the uh, things that trigger those algorithms. But one thing is clear, everybody can get banned for any unknown reason. And the worst part about it is if you reach out to support and ask them to look into it, it's clearly a mistake. They're gonna say we have looked at it and confirmed that uh, it is legitimate ban and your account is gone now. Feel free to start over. That's pretty much what they're saying. There's been maybe from from all the time I've been playing, couple times where I've seen they ac people actually being able to reverse the ban, and usually, pretty much always, that happens when. There was some kind of a glitch in the game that was developer's fault. Like, th there were a few ban waves in the game where people got banned for... But, like, it, it wasn't like individual accounts, random accounts banned. It's like, like a huge number of people got banned a couple times for no reason. Or there has been some, some glitch in the game. And in those cases, you could get your account back. They would reverse the ban. But if it's just a random ban uh, like this, 99.9% .9 chance nobody, not a single human eye is going to actually look into it. And uh, if you do see the message that your account is suspended, pretty much it's gone forever, which is unfortunate. Yeah. So talking about it... I've been talking about it, I've made multiple videos about it, probably at least five videos in the past year talking about it, and this is another one, video number six. Uh, let's, let's discuss what can be done for this. Well, there's nothing we as players can do, because we don't even know what triggers this false suspension. Uh, the only thing, uh, the only thing we can do is, I guess, keep talking about it, so hopefully developers notice and realize how big of an issue it is, and hopefully finally do something about it. What developers can do is actually implement a better system for, uh, reviewing the claims of false bans. Right now, it, it feels like there is no system. It feels like there's nobody there even trying to get to the bottom of why this account got banned. There has to be a way to uh, for, for human verification to be able to see if, uh, if the suspension was false or not. Uh, uh, for the cloud save glitch, profile out of sync, I have no idea. I, I feel like if, if this happens, it should just retry instead of giving you a button to retry. Why it doesn't retry on itself? And second of all, just fix your service, Netherrealm. That's it. That's all I have to say. Let's see what people have to say. Same, bro. It happened to me when I was trying Crypt. I don't know, man. Nothing happened to me when it came up. No, th th those are not related. I don't think that Profile uh, Out of Sync and Bands have any relation whatsoever. It's two separate issues. Test your might in a nutshell. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What is this? <laughs> I did it. Nice. Loose Logan. Very nice. I love... I love Testimite in MK1 games. Because if you fail it, you get killed. I hope something like that would ho happen here. But, like... Those animations are pretty fun. Guys, should I do it? This is tough. 
How is this tough? This is the best back in the entire game. There's literally nothing better. If you were saving souls for anything, this is better than anything you could possibly save souls for. Don't hesitate. Whenever you see anniversary community pack, just open it. 100%. Mend, what did you what did Mend say? Oh my god, what did what did he say now? Changes. 25 25 50 50 1 3. So, if I go now, as you can see, uh, I'm going to strip her naked. <laughs> oh man, so you naughty, naughty boy. Wait, he, he made a new account that's called Tiny Man. <laughs> Tiny Man Strips and the Naked. That's, that's a title. <laughs> Wait, let me test the theory. It works. No, no music. What's the theory? doing a battle Noops I bot takes in becomes invulnerable and healing Okay what's your what's your point? I haven't seen he then takes in and becomes invulnerable and healing. I mean, yeah! Hell yeah, that works. Why wouldn't it work? It is extremely OP, I agree. It's 2023 and Leatherface is still goaded. I can't say if you've been sarcastic or not. Leatherface is probably one of the worst diamonds in the game. Ever. He has been and he ever will remain until I, and, uh, unless they rework their, their, their kit. I mean, yeah, you can cheese stuff with Sindel, but if you just fought, you would have exactly the same result. Like, if you put the, that leather face, probably has insane tower gear. So, if you just put that leather face to fight, he will be doing even more damage than that. I still don't understand the fascination with leather face. My first top vote, so Stark can see it. When you and your future daughter manage to beat up an elder god. Where did that come from? I've never knew they, they performed together. Oh, I missed it. Good for you guys. Good for you. Best caption wins. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna come up with one. I'm having a baby. <laughs> okay, let's see. Vine boom sound effect. <laughs> when Cinda learns about her MK11 form. Okay, you, you, your lines, your lines suck, guys. This is clearly a face of a lady. That, actually, I, I'm not gonna say it because YouTube is gonna ban me. Invasion mode, Scorpion MK11, MK1. Oh, <gasps> Makomo! Guys, Makomo is back. Let's go! I was like, okay, this looks like Makomo style, and absolutely right. Absolutely right. This is very good job. Kind of looks like Hellspawn Scorpion a little bit, but different enough. Is that his skin? Wait, what do you mean invasion mode? It, does he look different in invasion mode? Well done, Makomo, and welcome back. It's nice to see you back making some awesome art. Five dollars I'm never going to get back. This is 15... 0.15% chance to happen, by the way. Oh! <gasps> On one hand, you're lucky because you hit very, very tough odds. On the other chance, uh, on the other hand, uh, you probably wish you didn't. So, bye bye, five dollars. Well, this is awkward. That's not awkward. That's what happens in a battle mode when you place another character, like w when first character locked, and you just place it again for the second slot. That's normal. Anyway, guys. Oh, wait. There's a post from Dimka. This is gonna. This is gonna be me doing something. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna finish it on this one. This. This is gonna be epic. I already know it. One guy said that I looked like a porn star. It kind of felt good. I'm gay or not? I mean, 
isn't that like the ultimate compliment? Right? Right? P please tell me it's a compliment because I, I, I do get it a lot. <laughs> I get it a lot as well. Oh man, okay. Alright, thank you. On this note, we're gonna end this video. I kinda wish I didn't see that. <laughs> oh god, I'm choking. Goodbye. <laughs>